Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Bodkin, starring MacGruber as a guy who runs a podcast, and him and his, uh, I don't know, his assistant or his girlfriend go to Ireland to uh, look up a cold case. And along the way, they pick up this journalist, I think as a guide, but uh, of course, the cold case turns to be Turns out to be anything but, and they discover that three people disappeared, and they find the bodies, and they're unraveling a mystery. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 14, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free, Joan. Here, you can come over here for a minute. For a minute with your stinky breath. All right. So, uh, this is supposedly based on a true story, and this does happen once in a while. The cold case turns uh, kind of hot. Here they discover the car of the missing people with their bodies in it. And uh, as they uncover it, of course, you know, in a mystery, there's always people who don't want the mystery to be uncovered. And uh, so there's uh, MacGruber getting it on with, I guess, his girlfriend, or maybe his assistant, or who becomes his girlfriend, I don't know. But it looks like a fun kind of mystery mixed with thriller, mixed with comedy. Yeah, it looks, looks all right, May 9th. I'd watch it. You know, MacGruber is the kind of actor, I keep giving him a chance. I want him to be funny. I mean, he's okay as MacGruber. Uh, Will Forte is his name. Will Forte starred in uh, The Last Man on Earth, which turned out not to be The Last Man on Earth, which is what pissed me off about the show. The first show's, the first episode's not too bad, and I thought, oh, well, maybe they could build on this. It would be interesting to see Will Forte try to entertain me for a solid hour all by himself. But it quickly descended into, oh, no, we're going to jam it full of a whole bunch of other characters. I don't know. I shouldn't be complaining about that, but... He seems like he could be funny if he had the right material. He seems funny in that dog movie. Seems kind of funny in MacGruber. He was okay on SNL, I guess. And this, I'd give him a shot. I, I I keep giving him a shot, but I don't. It he doesn't strike me as the kind of guy who it's his fault the movie isn't funny. Like maybe he's not kicking it up to the next level, but. He's also not the one responsible for the story, I'm going to say. Doesn't feel like it anyway. So, first act, uh, they go to this Irish Irish village called Bodkin to uh, examine this cold case. And there's a festival there and old customs and there are fish out of water. Uh, they hook up with this Irish journalist who's helping them. She's the competent one. They're kind of idiots. And um, they stumble upon a real mystery. But then it turns out there's murderous people in the town, and it's based on a true story. Um, they uncover the bodies, and, you know, intrigue abounds for the second act. As people try to hide the murder, the journalist goes from hating the trip to loving it. And then eventually they solve the murder, and there's a big confrontation at the end where they try to kill him, I'm going to guess. So I'd, I'd check it out. It sounds like a nice small kind of story that could that could work. And Will Forte is part of an ensemble cast, so I like that. It's not too much pressure on him. Um, you know, it's a bit of a girl boss thing with the female journalist being the competent one, but at least you got the love story between them. So, I think it could work. I, I think maybe. Maybe. All right, let's read the write-up. Bodkin is a darkly comedic thriller about a motley crew of podcasters who set out to investigate a mysterious disappearance of three strangers in an idyllic coastal Irish town. But once they start pulling the threads, they discover a story much bigger and weirder they could have than they could have imagined. All right. So, yeah. It's on Netflix, May 9th. Uh, yeah. 
I, I'm going to give McGruber one more chance. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for me. Tony D and Little Joan just off camera. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Saturday, I will be at the OC Con in Ocean City at the Music Pier. Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, I'm just going to be there in the morning. Then I'm going to head up on to uh, Lakewood for the Lakewood Historical Society event at 2 p.m. So I'll only be in Ocean City for about, uh, until about noonish. I'm going to uh, head out around noon. Uh, but I will be back on Sunday. Uh, if you're in the Lakewood area, come out to the Historical Society. They're doing an article this week on me in the La Asbury Park Press. So it should be a really nice turnout. Hope to see you there, and we'll see you tomorrow.